play two tonight like you played last night. Yeah. <laughs> and time-wise, it's always been. It would have been, yeah, it sure was. <laughs> So how big was Malkowski's uh, performance tonight? Really big for us. Um, you know, we, we talked before the game, and we were real short on pitching, and he really needed to be efficient, and he was the definition of that tonight. I mean, just pounded the strike zone, got early outs, got early contact, and um, and with that came success for him. So uh, really, really happy for him. He, he deserved that win. I think about 82 pitchers through the game. Uh, actually, I think it was 93. Um, and and we probably could have sent him back out, but you know he did a great job. And Braxton's been our closer, and he's earned the right to, to get that save. And so, you know, if, if we scored one more, we'd have sent him back out. But um, you know, uh, but Drax deserved to get a save in that situation too. How important was it to have a two-hour game after the way, the way last well, time? I mean, these guys are exhausted. I mean, he played 5:40 or 5:30, whatever it was yesterday, and you know, guys were beat. And so, uh, quick, uh, nice. They just told me two hours and 12 minutes. So we'll take that. What kind of progress did you see from Malkowski from his first start to, to this one? Well, I'll be honest with you, I think he's Same. been good all along. I, I think he's been good since he got here. Um, he's had three very good outings. I mean, not even questionable ones. He's had three really good outings, and this one was the best of the group. But um, that's not saying anything bad about the other ones. It's just his pitch count hadn't gotten up there yet, and so we were trying to stretch him out each time. And, uh, I mean, he's proven uh, you know, to be a pretty solid starter for us. Got another series win. That's what you preach. Yeah, I mean, we talk about that all the time. Um, let's just win series, win the series. And after you lose the first game, you got to take the next two. And um, so we lost the first one kind of ugly a couple days ago. And uh, But, you know, we come from behind with two outs and two strikes, or rather two outs, down two yesterday in, in the ninth, and come back and play hard and end up pulling 17 innings out. And then, um, you know, today just get great pitching. And, you know, Kenji had a you know big hit for us. There are only two hits for by a familiar face. Yeah, I know. Uh, the one uh, kind of up the middle, um, you know, if we played him a little bit more towards the middle, we might have got the out there. But, you know, that's the way it goes. I'll, I'll still take the shutout. But you knew Ernie was he, – he had to take a lot of, a lot of pride in that. Oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> you know, I mean, Ernie wants to beat us, and, you know, we're friends. I, I tried to get Ernie back here during the off season. Um, a couple times I thought I had deals done to get him back here, but it didn't happen, and uh, I wanted to have success as long as it's not with us. Not against us, rather. And Fields finally got a hold of one – Boy, he, he did. He barely hit it, too. I mean, that's what's amazing. He is so strong. He just got the ball, flicked it out there, and uh, but, you know, hit the ball in the pond. Tyler had a good night, too. Tyler had a great night. Um, <laughs> yeah, a triple and uh, tried to stretch that last one, and uh, I think we might have gotten a little, little too much there, but uh, but that's okay. You know, we had a big lead, and that's the kind of time to kind of stretch things out a little bit. Um, and, uh, you know, just he hit the ball really well tonight. Hey, Kenji's a terrific fielder for you, and now he's starting to hit, 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 give you some pretty productive hits. Too, yeah, right? um, last two games. really, and that's what they've been. I mean, we haven't had a lot of hits, but they've been pretty productive hits. And mm -hmm. uh, I think as time goes on and as he gets more comfortable here and um, not play afraid of, of getting sent home, because when you first get here, that's a little bit of that going on. Mm -hmm. So once he gets comfortable in his role, I think we're going to see more and more out of him. He's a very talented young man. I mean, we saw a play up the middle yet the other day where he dove and flicked it with his glove, and, mm -hmm. you know, a tremendous play. And it, uh, play in the ninth inning tonight was a very, very good play up the middle. Um, and obviously he's hit the ball well. You know, how's the team starting to come together after a couple of weeks? Now you feel a little bit more comfortable with this team? Um, I, I was pretty comfortable with him actually from the beginning, um, but we're still not, we're, for me, we're on three cylinders right now. We've got a bunch of guys that are hurt. We're doing this. Randall today wasn't in the lineup. Nate Hall hasn't been in the last couple days. We still haven't, you know, we've got one start out of Joey Augustine. Dill, who we expect will be a big late in the game guy, hasn't played. Uh, Mike Jamchuk hasn't pitched. So I think when, when we get all the pieces in place, I think, you know, this has the possibility of being a very good team this year. Of course, I mean, I'm not complaining with a 9-3 and three start. Don't get me wrong. You know much about Lake Erie? Um, I will have a full scouting report tomorrow. Um, you know, my buddies in Joliet, <laughs> uh, my, my other coaching staff, uh, they faced them last week, and they're facing Evansville, and we'll go ahead and trade scouting reports tomorrow before the game so we know a little bit about them. We, had, we did the same thing today with, with uh, Washington coming in here. We knew some things about them, and, um, you know, that's what having friends in the league are for. We kind of share some information. Do you think I'll have everybody available tomorrow as far as your relief? Yeah, I, I think, think we'll have tonight? everybody available tonight. Or everybody available tomorrow because Campbell didn't throw. Coaster will have a day off. I probably won't throw Shivers or, um, or Quigley because they both went three innings yesterday. But uh, we have a new guy who just arrived, and uh, we'll go ahead and sign him for tomorrow. 
um, a rookie left-hander, and uh, but we've got really, really good numbers. You, this year he struck out 50 guys in 49 innings and only walked five. So that's a that's a formula I like a lot. Nance gave you some good innings last night. Was well, that a surprise? Um, was it a surprise? Um, I think it's always a surprise when a position player does well. Um, I don't think we could have predicted that, um, but he. We had no one else. We just really had no one else. And he said, "Hey, I'll I'll go do it." And at that point in the ball game, to be honest with you, it's you know, I mean we're at the fourteenth inning. You know what? Okay, can you throw? Go ahead in. You know, we'll take a shot at it. At that point, it's just a matter of who, where the balls fall. Yeah. Right. Thanks, guys. Hi, I'm Bill Bond in the second with People's National Bank. Being a family-owned Southern Illinois bank, we are proud of our partnership with the Southern Illinois miners. People's National Bank, now more than ever, is focused on bringing you the very best products, including the Southern Illinois Miners Checking Account. Stop by any People's National Bank and see how every time the miners win, so do you, with an increase in your rates in your Southern Illinois Miners Checking Account. People's National Bank is proud to show you what banking with a family-owned bank is all about.